Hi, I'm Mess. I'm currently building a fireworks game in Unity, and as I go along, I do devlogs and tips and tricks videos that I put up on this channel. So if you want to know more and follow along, please subscribe and maybe also leave a like if you like this video. This particular video is a tips and trick video where I show something that I just stumbled upon uh, in my game where I had the need to play a sound effect once a particle is submitted, is submitted from a particle system and once the particle dies again. Um, in my case I need it for some fireworks but you could use this for a lot of stuff. Let's dive in and let me show you the effect and then afterwards how I did it. So here we are in the game. Um, let's go over here and look at this battery over here because that's actually the simplest one I have. Um, this is basically just a particle system, um, which I can show you in a moment. But let's let's take a look at how it looks when we trigger it. So you hear a sound every time a particle is emitted, emitted, and every time it dies, it uh, it, it plays this boom effect like it explodes in the air. If we take a closer look at this battery here, dragon battery as it's called, it consists of various things like a model for instance, but the interesting thing is this actually this um, uh, particle system here, which is the one you see here. It's of, of course, you know, as you can see here, consists of some sub emitters and lights and all that. Uh, I'm not going to go into that now, but if you want to see something about that, let me know in the comment. Um, I can do a video about how this fireworks thing is put together to create this um, fireworks effect here. Anyway, the interesting thing in this video is about playing the sounds once this particle emits and it dies. And to solve that problem, because the particle system by default don't have any events or any hooks or anything that can tell you as a developer or tell the system that now a particle was emitted, that now it's die, die it's dead and, and stuff like that. So you need to be a little clever about tricking the system how to, to figure that one out. So I created this fireworks particle sound system. You can call your script exactly what you want. This was the only thing I could came up, come up with. So let's take a look at this one because it's actually very, very sim simple. Um, basically, it uh, contains of uh, the important parts is the, the particle system and a current number of particles. So in the startup, we find the particle system, that's all good. All this sound thing you can, well, basically ignore because you might play sounds differently in your game. I use this easy sound manager that I think I found on the asset store for free. Um, but the interesting part is this in the update here. Whereas, first of all, I have this amount. This is basically just because I, uh, when I play the sound, I, I want to know how many particles died or how many particles were emitted. You can leave that out if you don't need that. The interesting part is these two ifs here and this current number. Because as you can see, if we start going to the end of the update, we can see that the current number of particles is set equals to the particle count of the particle systems in the system. Um, so um, at first run, uh, it's zero, zero because nothing spawned. So it's just zero, zero. And these if are just nothing, zero. It, it, it's nothing. Um, then we set the current particle system to, to this current number, which means that this one is set to null, uh, zero, sorry, to zero, just as it started basically. Then before we get to the next update, a particle is at some other update in the particle system, a particle is added meaning that suddenly the particle count is, let's say one, it could also be four or five, depending on how you spawn, you could have burst of stuff. Let's just for the case of, for the simplicity, let's say only one particle was spawned. So that means that when the, we get to this update the next time, this particle count of the particle system is one and the current number of particles from the last update is zero meaning the particle count is now bigger than the current number of particles. So it looks at this if and see if this is less than the current particle. In this case, it's not. In this case, the particle count is bigger than the current uh, number of particles, meaning a particle is spawned, spawned, meaning that we again 
Don't go into detail of how this is done. You can play the sounds as you want. But basically, at this point, you want to play to do play born sound. You could do that. And up here, where we have the opposite, where the particle count is less than the current particle effect, we can play a play a die sound or death sound or whatever. You can also call it something different. That's up to you. Basically, these two places are the, are the places where you are going to play your emit and disappear death um, sound effect. So it's actually pretty simple. And um, and this is it. You can uh, you can uh, use this little trick to to figure out. And and I've used it on some a couple of things in my game here. And it actually, even though it seems a little weird, it actually pretty solid. Um, and actually works uh, works pretty good. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more and stay tuned for upcoming devlogs, tutorials, tips and tricks, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified once I publish a new video. And leave a like and a comment if you use it in your project. Until next time, see you.